Welcome back, Wolfpack Rollers here, and this is how to use Sceptile. So, when I reviewed Sceptile and the other Hoenn starters, I did just their Mega Forms. And that's because they just came out, they were just announced. So, super hyped to do that. But now we need to do some real guides. I think it's. There's been enough time in between, so let's just go and look at Sceptile for now. So Sceptile has a really good speed. 120 speed, that's pretty solid. 105 on the special attack could be better, but we do have a decent amount of offense right here. That's kind of like Floatzel. When we looked at Floatzel, 105 on an offense, 115 on speed. So the stats kind of show that there is something there. If we boost into it right, we find a lot of out speeds, we can go into a sweep, and that works out pretty well. But the rest of the stats aren't too crazy. That the defenses, 85, 65 on uh, special defense and defense with 70 hit points, means that our chances of survival probably not too great, and we're a grass type. So grass type Pokemon have five weaknesses, and Sceptile is one of them. So flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice as a weakness, and then resistance to ground, water, grass, and electric. So we do get some resistances back, and since we're playing as a sweeper kind of Pokemon, I guess the weaknesses aren't the worst thing possible because, okay, we, we just try to outspeed our opponent, we try to pick up some KOs, maybe since we don't have like an insane amount of special attack, we go to, for like late game sweeping, and Sceptile can come through pretty well. Hopping into Pokemon Showdown, I'm going to look at Mega Sceptile first, mostly because it is a big part of Sceptile, and it does have some singles and doubles viability, so we'll just go over it really quick. Now, I was thinking singles, we want to run subs too. That way we sub substitute if they're trying to go for setup or anything like that, and then it just gives us a lot of really good sweeping potential. That they have to break our sub, and most likely with Dragon Pulse or Focus Blast, you're scoring a lot of really easy two-hit KOs, and then Leaf Storm is a really good one-hit KO on a lot of Pokemon. So the idea is you set up a sub, you might be able to endure a hit if it isn't like a super effective hit, and they just come in and try to smash your opponent down. So with this you can run a modest nature, I feel that with a 145 base speed, putting Timid into it or giving it a speedy nature is just overkill. It's just a lot of damage that you really don't want to ignore, so Dragon Pulse becomes a lot of 2 hit KOs, Focus Blast has some really good super effective potential, and then Leaf Storm. So that way I like to set up the subs too, get these out speeds, use Dragon Pulse until sub goes away, and then Leaf Storm, and that should be 2 KOs, maybe even more. Even if this is like super late game where your opponent has a lot of Pokemon that are somewhat weakened, you can just come in, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Pulse, KO, Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm, that could be a KO or two, because even after your special attack drop, Leaf Storm is still going to have a lot of power, and if they only have like one really low health Pokemon left, you can still get the cleanup from there, and just substitute makes it safe. So you're going to outspeed, get that sub, and cool things happen. Happen. In doubles, I was thinking we want to run Protect, and because there's a lot of Scarf Pokemon stuff, and we already have another Pokemon potentially bringing damage, we just go Timid Nature. And this is why I like Lightning Rod. So when Sceptile Mega Evolves, it gets Lightning Rod, which draws in special attacks to it, and then it gains a special attack boost of 1. So it goes plus 1 on that, which means you can have it next to a Discharge Pokemon. That way you're just getting free special attack, and then you can throw out a huge Dragon Pulse. And once you get plus 2, you can use Leaf Storm, and then you're put back to neutral. So you can use Leaf Storm again and still have some really high damage threat. Or you just have Sceptile next to a Pokemon like Gyarados. Gyarados doesn't want to eat a Thunderbolt, it doesn't want to have to worry about a Volt Switch or anything like that. So it can get a free Dragon Dance, Sceptile draws in that move, and then you can really play that to advantage because now you're gaining uh, special attack and stuff. And because of the special attack gain, you can go with the Timid Nature, outspeed almost everything that your opponent is going to throw at you, even some Scarf Pokemon, and then you're good to go. Also, a cool thing about the Modest Nature that I wanted to mention is that it outspeeds Greninja. So a Timid Greninja is only 377 speed, Mega Sceptile is 389, which is why I feel that you don't need to go into Timid in the singles, because you just want to get those outspeeds and you want to get those KOs. Regular Sceptile is really interesting, because when you think about Sceptile from the anime, it's a really fighter kind of Pokemon that has Leaf Blade. It does a lot of more physical hits, and it's a really cool Pokemon when it does that. But then it has a higher special attack, so what are you going to do? You still run it physical anyway, because it gets access to Sword Stance, and it doesn't have anything that boosts its special attack, which means your Sword Stance is going to be the highest damage you have. Also, regular Sceptile has Unburden. Unburden is one of my favorite abilities because it's really easy to use, and then it doubles your speed, which means it gives you a ton of flexibility. So with this, 120 base speed. You don't have to invest any speed, and when you get that, that Unburden proc, now you're going to be over 500 speed. Not a lot of Pokemon are going to be able to keep up with you, which means you get to invest tankily, that you can get some defensive bulk, you can run adamant, get huge offenses. Swords Dance with the plus 2 is going to bring you close to 600 attack, and then you're using some powerful moves. Leaf Blade, high critical hit ratio, acrobatics. Acrobatics has some ridiculous synergy with the Unburden, because you use an item, you gain speed, and then the power doubles on acrobatics, bringing you to 110 base power, and then I like the idea of Drain Punch. 
since we're running bulky, you know, we set up the Swords Dance, we can get some health back. If we have those super effective hits, you know, Drain Punch is going to be a very optimal thing to use. And then everything else is going to be a solid hit with Leaf Blade. So the reason why I have Red Card here is because you're expecting to, you know, take that first hit, get the Unburden going, and Red Card is one of the best Unburden procs in the game. Folder is hit, forces the attacker to switch with a random ally, which means it could also put you in a very good position. They, they might be forced to switch that Pokemon out, which means free damage or free setup, or it just means they might have to sacrifice this Pokemon now because the red card brought in something unfavorable and they don't want to switch into anything else, so that could be really awesome. Now, since Sceptile is a grass Pokemon, Weakness policy does make a lot of sense because you have a lot of weaknesses and it makes it very likely to where you're going to see a super effective hit It also means that you are pretty frail so low defense and kind of okay special defense Even with the full hit point investment getting hit by a super effective hit could mean death Let's say you have a Weavile using a life orb boosted ice punch. That's a KO right there So you don't have any chance to survive weakness policy isn't really going to go off because you're already knocked out and it really could be a bad thing, but if you do endure a not the most powerful super effective hit, now you're at plus four. So you're doubling your speed, tripling your attack, and then you just go off. Leaf Blade, Drain Punch, Acrobatics, kind of doesn't matter what you use as long as it's a neutral hit or better, and then you just kind of win. And that's kind of it. You can maybe run Citrus Berry, that way you get the Unburdened that way. But overall, you know, you have Swords Dance set up, you can use Focus Sash, you have a lot of things to keep you going with this. But, you know, what? if you get that set up, you're at plus two, high amount of damage, Leaf Blade could crit for just a lot of neutral KOs, and then you have really good coverage that works out. I was thinking about some other moves, but really, Acrobatics is going to be your best bet. That Earthquake, that makes it to where you're triple dipping into a Rock Weakness, that doesn't really bring you too much. Drain Punch with the Steel, also, you know, even though it's a really good reliable move, I like the red Acrobatics with Red Card, it's just really nice to have that kind of damage, and then you're getting some tankiness out of this. So maybe this is the way that really makes Sceptile shine. You can get a lot of damage, good amount of coverage, and it's just going to be awesome overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell you Sceptile, and I hope you all have a nice day.